Howdy everyone, Stefan here on the French Cooking Academy and thanks for joining me again as we're learning this week how to cook artichokes. Now artichokes are somehow intimidating and you may not know how to prepare them. Most of the time you're gonna find them the really full grown ones, but these are what we call in France the artichaut poivrade or the little purple artichokes as you can see. And, and the good thing with these is that they are a good place to start when it comes to getting your hand dirty on how to prepare artichokes and how to cook them. So today we're going to make a classic uh, starter from the south of France called the artichaut barigoul where we're going to learn to prepare the artichoke and cook them in white wine, onions, garlic, some fresh herbs, olive oil, a very simple dish for any occasion. Now for the ingredients, everything will be listed in the video description as usual, but I just wanted to have a quick word about these little artichokes. Now, these are best to buy them just when they come in your shop. Like I did, I was working to my organic shop and boom, they were there available, but you have to make them fresh on the day. I've bought them already yesterday and look what happened with the stems. They're already starting to get soft. Just to tell you that freshness is important in these types of preparations. So when you buy artichoke, make sure they're really fresh and ideally use them on the day. So let's have a look at the mise en place. Now for the mise en place, of course, we're gonna concentrate on the artichoke. How on earth do you prepare those? So there's quite a few things you need for those huh, if you want to make your life easy. So I would advise to use either a paring knife. The common practice is to use this bird's beak paring knife, a pillar, and also one of these bread knife is quite useful. You're gonna need a bowl with water and the very first thing you're gonna do is to put half or even a whole lemon in juice like this pressed into your water and that is gonna be really useful to avoid the artichoke hearts to oxidize and get dark. All right, so let's prepare the artichoke. Now the first thing you need to think of is artichoke hearts. When you go in the shop and you buy them in little jars uh, this is, I've went to the extreme here and made one. This is kind of what you get, what you're left. This is just the kind of the hard flesh. Now these ones, because they are young artichokes, you can afford leaving some leaves. So we're gonna have a look, you can do different things. So for the stems, you can immediately get rid of a good part of it. Okay, I'm reserve it on the side here. And then it all starts by hand. What you're gonna do is start by removing the leaves. You're gonna pluck off one or two rows of leaf. The guidance is basically you remove the leaves that are like purple like this and the deeper you're gonna go inside you're gonna see you see how it kind of gets it's gonna lose its color and it's gonna expose the inside of the flower it looks like a flower uh, okay and then you're gonna pluck all these things here and what we are doing here is basically just look we're just cleaning the artichoke okay that's the first thing we're gonna do Next, we're gonna work on the stem. So for the stem, basically it used to be done with one of the knives, but nowadays, you know what? The peelers are very good and I can just use them by really kind of pressing hard like that. And you can do a very good job and it's very easy by just using a good quality peeler to expose the flesh. Remember the skin on these things is super bitter, okay? So you don't want to go too deep, but you don't want to go too shallow. Huh? So don't leave like a matchstick left of, of artichoke, but a nicely, you know, a nicely peeled little stem here. Now, once you're here, basically there's different methods. One method consists of taking a knife, uh, one of these, and you're going to kind of be peeling all of the leaves like that. I don't find that method super useful because you see the leaves are kind of falling off. And I'm almost thinking, you know what, by hand, you could almost do this by just plucking things off, you know, and get closer to the heart. And I think it's kind of safer. But what we want to do here is to just to expose this bit and expose the flesh, as you can see here, these parts, this is the flesh we want try we're trying to expose here. Now, as soon as you've turned around, look at this very skinny, immediately start to put this in the lemon water because it will really, really want to oxidize very fast. Now you see this, Technique with the knife, I actually for home, I would say, you know what? If you take a peeler and you go around with a good quality peeler right at the base here, for me, this is kind of easier. Look, you get a very nice job. It's nice and clean. And this is much better than the knife, I think, when you start. And you can also make sure 
here is the same thing. You want to get rid basically of all the green parts. Uh, so we just really go around gently. I know it looks a little bit laborious, but look at that. Now I've got a nice flower and this is all the flesh we're going to be able to eat. Now we're going to take care of that part. Now, I know what you must be thinking already, like, oh my God, I'm never going to manage this. Don't worry, it is actually way easier than it looks like. If I zoom in on the artichoke, look, yeah, you can see the stem. You can see this is the kind of the, the bits we don't want. You see how it's kind of green and thick? You, you wouldn't want to eat this. So it's just really a matter, keep this in mind, it's just a matter of telling yourself, okay, what are the, the parts of that vegetable that looks like they are edible? You know, can I actually have this in my plate? Yes. When it's nice and like this, of course. This as well, some nice flesh here. For this part, all what you need to do, uh, you can take your knife here, and we're just gonna cut off the excess. Uh, so a little bit, this is, these are just leaves, uh, so we don't want that. Oop. So you're gonna discard that. Look, I'm giving you a little flower. All right, and some people like them like this. Okay, this is where you can stop. So, or we can cook them straight off like this by just, you know, shortening this a little bit. Yeah? This is going to be our artichoke that's left. Now, the extra step is to remove the heart here with a spoon, either now or later once they are cooked. Uh, I've seen different recipes, I'm just going to show you. You can use either one of those, right? just, a, just a spoon here or that. Let me zoom out a little bit so see how that works, remove the heart. When I say the heart, I mean the little hair that are inside, they're called hay, uh, foin in French. And you're going to be using this, the melon baller. Uh, it's this kind of tool, it's got that round edges and it's kind of sharp. And we can dig in. I should use a smaller one, um, but just to show you a little bit, that just goes in here. You're going to plant it and all what we're going to do is try to cut through. And it's tougher when it's not cooked. This is what people are like to do this afterwards. And we're going to dig in. Just plunge it in the water to show you. We're going to dig in to reveal what's inside basically, because there are some little kind of hair inside the artichoke that are not really good to it. Yeah? So the whole process here is to dig through all the way to the heart. So I'm gonna continue until I reach the bottom and then show you. All right, so sorry for the zoom here. So I've finished and as you can see, it is a very, very uh, deep dig that I've done and you can't see the hair so I'm going to show you this instead this is the first one I've made to show you you see these tiny little dots this is where this tiny hair resides so you need to dig until you reach the core of the heart of the architect which is a really a hard base anything that's going to feel soft to the touch there's still the hair do not leave this hair because they're really not appetizing to have you in your plate and but basically that is the end result and this is what we're going to do moving forward with all the other artichokes all right so this is how mise en place being done now for the artichokes there's different schools and some purists don't even bother to remove the inside and you're going to make them like this and cut them in half which is what i think i'm going to do because i don't have too many um, but this is the way you learn in culinary schools, huh? to uh, trim everything and remove the little hair inside. But you don't have to. For the rest, very simple. Finish sliced onion, carrots. I've got two bruised garlic cloves, branch of thyme, and a little bay leaf. That's a small glass of wine. All of this is going to be for the cooking of the artichoke. At the end, we're going to chop basil, fresh parsley, and garlic again. Make a nice fresh chop, mix it with olive oil, and we're going to stir that through the artichoke is going to be super delicious. And now let's cook this artichoke. Now the good news is that the cooking stage is very, very simple. So all what I'm going to do is a medium heat under my pan and a warm up three tablespoons of olive oil. My oil is now warm and all what you're going to do is add all of the onions and the carrots. And we're just going to let them sweat a little bit for just one or two minutes. Nice little sizzle going on and immediately I'm going to take my artichokes that I've cut in half as I said and I'm going to put them in over the onions and the carrots. I'm going to continue by adding a little branch of thyme like this. I'm going to cut in two my little bay leaf and of course my bruised garlic with an addition of a sprinkle of salt. I like salt and a little bit of pepper. Give this a little shake. As you can see, these little saute pans, huh? they're, they're very practical. Huh? You don't need to use spoon all the time. You can kind of shake things around and I'm gonna add my liquid. All right, for the liquid, 
I'm adding a little bit of wine. Okay, and I'm gonna top up with water. I'm doing water and wine because otherwise it's gonna be a little bit too acidic. Uh, and we just want to basically kind of barely cover. You see the artichokes here. Uh, they, they, you don't want too much liquid because that's gonna have to reduce. Huh? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put this on a medium, low to medium heat. I'm gonna cover and leave this to cook simply for 15 minutes. All right, so after 15 minutes, you take your lid off. This is what you get. Your artichoke is gonna be partly cooked. And what we need to do now is to finish the cooking with the lid off for a good 10 minutes on a high heat to have a reduction happening in the pan. So we're going to try to reduce this until it gets to a semi syrupy consistency and to create a nice emulsion with the olive oil, the wine, the water and the aromatics. And that's it, I'm done. When we've got a little bit of sauce left, and it's nice and semi syrupy. I'll just show you in a bit. What you're going to do is turn the heat off and we're going to add our last touch of parsley, basil and garlic. So I've taken my pan of the heat and I just wanted to show you what do I mean by this so-called semi syrupy consistency. When your dish is ready, what you create here, it's almost like a pickled artichoke. And look at that, that juice, you see? And it's got that kind of a slight thickness to it. You see how it can coat, it's very fatty and it's got all the aromatics that are concentrated. So now is the time to add the last touch. That magical trio is right in front of you. Tablespoon of parsley, same for the garlic and a little bit more of basil leaf thinly chopped. Mix that together and now that's going to be going straight into our artichoke mix. And here we are. So as I said, once they are ready, you can only add this mix just before serving. We're going to first get rid of all of the leaves, the little branch of thyme. And you're going to sprinkle this fresh mix of herbs. I'm not going to put everything actually because look at what I've got. But look at these colors. I mean, this is simple cooking at its best. Huh? And I'm just going to shake it a little bit and then use a spoon uh, and just very gently stir that in. And that's it. Our dish is now ready to be served. Wow, look at that. We're now ready for the tasting. You might be interested to know that this simple dish is actually the recipe from an iconic French chef and this is now diseased, huh? it's been a long time ago, called Roger Verger, and he was the father of the cooking from the south of France. He was the chef that really put his provincial style of cooking on the map, and his style of cooking is just using simple ingredients, simple flavors, something fresh, and that is what you get. And honestly, let me try. It just looks plain amazing, and I'm going to try one of the artichoke. Wow, that's perfectly cooked. Mm. It's almost pickled. You got very, very subtle intonation. The artichokes are very young, very tender, and it's really not acidic at all. And the kick of the, um, the herbs in there really goes in the background. Absolutely delicious. I really respect this style of cooking when it comes to simplicity and flavor. And that's the end of the video, guys, with that beautiful recipe from Roger Verger, artichaut à la barigoule, sometimes called just la barigoule. Now, how do you serve these? Of course, uh, lukewarm. You can serve it as a side huh, with uh, meat or even, I think, maybe a piece of fish would be better. But for me, to be honest, I would wait for the artichaut to be a little bit cold and I would do like an appetizer huh, with wine on the side, with some cheese to present that to your guest on a sunny day when it's nice and relaxed, nice and warm. That's going to be absolutely beautiful in my view. That's my personal opinion. As always, if you have any question regarding this comment section, if you make the recipe, share your pictures on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. You can follow me, of course, on Facebook, on Patreon. And if you want to learn more about French cooking technique, don't forget our online culinary schools. All the details in the video description. I'll see you all next week for another French cooking recipe. Take care all. Bye bye.